This video has been brought to you by NordVPN, the five largest armed forces in the world. When World War II ended, the world entered an age known as the Long Peace, a 77-year period that saw no large-scale clashes between the major powers. However, the fact is that during this period, there was always a conflict going on somewhere in the world. During all these years of peace, the Cold War between the East and the West held the world constantly on the brink of a total all-out war. Around the world, armed forces were building up their strength, while the major powers became the superpowers with arsenals of unimaginable proportions. Even when the Cold War ended in the late 20th century, a fragile peace remained over the planet. Some new military powers emerged to challenge the balance of the established powers. The race in armament production and the building up of military strength continued, and in the second decade of the 21st century, the world's armies have grown to a level never seen before in history. Out of a world population of 7.9 billion, 20.1 million men and women are engaged in military service. That's a quarter of 1% of all the people in the world that are carrying arms. Each of the largest top five armies in the world has more than a million soldiers on active service. This is who they are. At number five, the Armed Forces of the Russian Federation. With 1,014,000 active personnel, the Armed Forces of the Russian Federation rank number five on our list. The successor of the famous Red Army, the current Russian Armed Forces were established in 1992 after the dissolution of the Soviet Union. For years, the army had struggled to survive the economic transition brought on by the democratic changes in the country. The new Russian military inherited almost the entire arsenal from the Soviet period, which made the Russian army, even though the second most powerful, poorly equipped compared to its main rival, the United States. However, after the 2008 reform, the Russian armed forces have undergone a profound reorganization and modernization of their arsenal and equipment. In 2010, the Russian government allocated over $650 billion to procure new weapons and equipment for all the branches of their armed forces. As a result, the Russian military budget in 2021 was the fourth highest in the world, worth $61.7 billion. They comprise three main branches, the ground forces, the navy, and the aerospace forces. Apart from these, there are three independent arms of service, the airborne army, special operations forces, and the strategic rocket forces. Despite the attempts to professionalize the active personnel, more than half of the Russian armed forces consist of conscripts. Conscription is obligatory for all Russian male citizens aged 18 to 27, with their term of service lasting 12 months. Although the army lost its role as the global superpower after the collapse of the Soviet Union, it still holds the title for having the second most powerful force in the world primarily thanks to its frightening arsenal of weapons and equipment. The Russian army has the largest tank fleet in the world. Its ground forces are equipped with 12,420 tanks, mostly modernized T-72B3, B3M tanks, but also T-90Ms and T-80BVMs. 30,122 armored fighting vehicles, including the BTR-82AM infantry fighting vehicles, 6,574 self-propelled artillery guns, 7,571 towed artillery guns, and 3,391 rocket projectors, mainly the BM-30 Smirch and BM-21 Grad systems. Russian air power consists of 4,173 aircraft, of which there are 772 fighters and 739 attack aircraft. Accent given on modern types such as the Su-35S, Su-30SM, and Su-34. In addition to this, the air fleet also has 445 transport aircraft, 522 trainers, 32 special mission aircraft, 20 tankers, and 1,543 helicopters, which includes 544 attack helicopters. At sea, the Russian Navy deploys one aircraft carrier, the famous Admiral Kunetsov, alongside 11 frigates, 15 destroyers, 86 corvettes, 49 mine layers, 59 patrol vessels, and 70 submarines, including the most modern Yesen-Yesen-M missile-armed nuclear-powered submarines. 
The crown of the Russian Armed Forces arsenal is its inventory of 6,257 nuclear warheads. Of that, 1,458 warheads are strategically deployed on ballistic missiles, and 4,497 are held in strategic reserve, making Russia one of the two leading nuclear powers in the world. At number 4, the Korean People's Army. With a mighty force of 1.2 million active personnel, North Korea is considered one of the biggest threats to international security by the United States and its allies. The nuclear outlaw North Korea has invested almost all of its resources into building a strong military to guard the north of the Korean peninsula from the capitalist invaders of the United States and South Korea. According to the country's constitution, National defense is the supreme duty and honor of citizens. Citizens shall defend the country and serve in the armed forces as required by law. Indeed, 36% of North Korean population comprises the manpower available for military service. Out of all the armed forces in the world, the Korean People's Army has the longest term of conscription, amounting to 10 years service. All males aged 14 are conscripted, starting their actual service at 17. Postponing their service is possible for those who continue their education, but only for a three-year period. Females, too, are conscripted, although selectively. The ratio of men to women conscripts is 9 to 1. Children of the political elites are exempt from doing military service altogether. Even though it's one of the poorest countries in the world, North Korea allocates enormous funds into maintaining its armed forces. The military budget of $1.6 billion makes up a staggering 15.9% of the central government spending. Distributing this amount of money is necessary to keep the gigantic military machine functioning. The Korean People's Army has five service branches, the Ground Force, the Naval Force, the Air and Anti-Air Force, the Special Operation Force, and the Strategic Rocket Force. They are equipped exclusively with Soviet and Chinese origin weapons and domestic production modifications. As a result, most of the weapons and equipment are obsolete. The ground forces are equipped with 5,895 tanks, mainly the old Soviet T-54s and 55s, T-62s, T-72s, and an unknown number of the new prototype M-2020 tanks. The Army also possesses 4,114 armored vehicles, mostly Soviet BTR-60 PBs, 450 self-propelled artillery, 250 towed artillery, and 1,360 rocket projectors. For air combat, the North Koreans have 946 aircraft, comprised of 458 fighters, which are mainly obsolete Chinese copies of the Soviet MiG-17, MiG-19, and MiG-21. 114 attack aircraft, one transport, and 169 trainers. This also includes 204 helicopters, of which 20 are attack helicopters. Interestingly, the North Korean Air Fleet comprises 80 American MD-500 light helicopters illegally bought by circumventing U.S. export controls. Their modest naval forces consist of five frigates, 35 submarines, 200 patrol vessels, and 10 mine layers. The true power of the Korean People's Army lies in its strategic rocket force, who are in charge of the military's nuclear and conventional strategic missiles. Even though it's unknown how many warheads the North Koreans actually have, it's estimated that they have produced fissile material for up to 50 warheads. Such an arsenal of nuclear weapons is enough to present a major deterrent. But now, let's dedicate a moment to thank our sponsor, NordVPN. Using public networks and being online doesn't have to mean being unprotected. Your personal data can stay safe whether you're shopping from your home network or just browsing the web at a coffee shop. With just one click, NordVPN and its latest feature will uplift your digital security to a whole new level. Once you enable it, any blocked content, streaming websites, or messaging platforms are accessible without censorship. No matter where you are, NordVPN's latest feature, Threat Protection, secures all your data by using an encrypted tunnel that prevents websites from tracking you and guards you against malicious files, websites, and malware. Customize your protection level by simply toggling between these options. Experience online freedom without exposing your personal data and protect up to six devices with a single NordVPN account, including your smart TV and router. 
Hurry up and go to nordvpn.com slash simple history or click the link in the description to get an exclusive discount on the two year plan plus the free anti malware. You can try Nord risk free today thanks to their 30 day money back guarantee. At number three, the United States Armed Forces. Even though it only has the third largest military in the world with 1,390,000 active personnel, the United States Armed Forces are undisputedly the world's leading military superpower. The U.S. gained this status during and after World War II, and especially during the Cold War. Between 1945 and 1991, the American military and political domination in the world was matched only by the Soviet Union and its Red Army. However, once the Soviet Union dissolved in 1991, the U.S. Armed Forces became the sole superpower in the world. Even though the last war that the United States officially fought in was World War II, its armed forces were engaged in numerous conflicts and military operations worldwide, earning its nickname, the Global Policeman. To maintain its enormous military hardware and retain its dominance, the United States paid a hefty price. The annual defense budget of $770 billion surpasses by far the budgets of all other countries. It makes up one-third of the entire military expenditure of the whole world. Since 1973, the United States Armed Forces has been an all-volunteer professional military. However, upon Congress's approval, the President may enact the selective conscription system in case of war, with all male citizens and residents between 18 and 25 years of age required to register. Once in the service, conscripts are engaged into one of six service branches. These are the U.S. Army, U.S. Marine Corps, U.S. Navy, U.S. Air Force, U.S. Space Force, and U.S. Coast Guard. Combined forces of all branches are organized under unified combatant commands based on the area of responsibility in the world or on a functional basis. Currently, there are 11 unified combatant commands. In recent years, the United States Armed Forces' dominance has been challenged by other armies, especially the rising powers such as Russia, China, and India. To countermeasure against their efforts, the United States pays a lot of attention to the procurement of new weapons and equipment. The United States Armed Forces therefore have some of the finest and latest generation weapons and systems in its arsenal. The number of systems in service also puts the Americans at the very top of the world's military forces. Their ground forces are equipped with 6,612 tanks, with the M1 Abrams being the main battle tank. 45,193 armored vehicles, including the M2 and M3 Bradley fighting vehicles, M1120 Striker and M113 personnel carriers and others. The artillery consists of 1,498 self-propelled artillery guns, 1,339 towed artillery guns, and 1,366 rocket projectors. The U.S. Air Fleet is undoubtedly the mightiest force in the world with the number of aircraft it has in service. It includes 13,246 aircraft of various types, three times more than the second largest air force, the Russian Aerospace Force. Of that number, 1,957 are fighters, mainly the F-15CE Eagles, the F-16CD Fighting Falcons, and their modern replacement, the F-35A Lightning II. In addition to this, there are 783 attack aircraft and other heavier bombers. The air fleet also comprises 982 transport aircraft, 2,661 trainers, 774 special missions aircraft, 627 tankers, and 5,463 helicopters, including 910 attack helicopters, mostly AH-64 Apaches. At sea, the U.S. Navy has 11 aircraft carriers and 9 helicopter carriers, the largest such fleet in the world. Together with 92 destroyers, 22 corvettes, 68 submarines, including 14 ballistic missile submarines, 8 mine layers, and 10 patrol vessels. Alongside the Russians, the United States Armed Forces have the largest nuclear arsenal, with 5,550 warheads. A quarter of these are strategically deployed on ballistic missiles in the United States and U.S. bomber bases across the globe. With such a powerful arsenal, it's clear why the U.S. armed forces are considered the most powerful military in the world. At number two, the Indian Armed Forces. 
India is the second most populated country in the world and accordingly has the second largest military with 1,450,000 active personnel. It is, however, the fastest growing military with 22,768,619 men reaching the age to serve in the military annually. The military was formed on the basis of the British Indian Army from the colonial period. After India gained its independence in 1947, the army was split between India and Pakistan. It gave birth to the Indian Armed Forces. Over the years, India has forged its military strength in several conflicts with the neighboring countries of Pakistan and China. Today, the military has three basic service branches, the Indian Army, the Indian Navy, and the Indian Air Force, which are supported by the Indian Coast Guard and paramilitary organizations and various inter-service commands. Due to its large population of 1.3 billion people, India doesn't practice conscription even though there's a provision for one in their constitution. The Indian Armed Forces is an all-volunteer force, gathering new recruits at recruitment rallies. All males aged between 17 and 21 may join the army if they meet the health and physical criteria. Women are not actively recruited for the service, but they are allowed to serve as officers and combat pilots through the Short Service Commission. With its foreign activities, India has developed a strong relationship with almost all of the leading powers in the world. It conducted joint military exercises with the United States, Russia, China, Japan, Brazil, and France. Similarly, India has established solid connections to procure weapons and equipment for its armed forces. As a result, they are one of the largest importers of defense equipment, most of this coming from Russia, the United States, France, and Israel. However, recently India has conducted a campaign to build its own domestic defense industry and so reduced its independence on foreign imports. One of its leading domestic products is the Arjun Mark I tank, which is the main battle tank in its fleet of 4,614 tanks. Most of the other tanks used are Russian T-90s and T-72s. Indian ground forces are equipped with 12,000 armored vehicles, mostly the BMP-2 2K, 100 self-propelled artillery, 3,311 towed artillery, and 1,338 rocket projectors, mostly Russian Smirch 9K-58 MBRLs. The air power of the Indian military includes 2,182 aircraft. 564 of these are fighter planes, the Sukhoi Su-30 Mk-1 being the primary fighter in the fleet that also includes the French Dassault Mirage 2000 and the Indian Hal Tejas. In addition to this, there are 130 attack aircraft, 253 transport planes, 353 trainers, 71 special mission planes, 6 Ilyushin IL-78 tankers, and 805 helicopters, of which 37 are attack helicopters, mainly the Mi-25, Mi-35, and Indian Hal Rudra. The Indian Navy is among the top 10 navies in the world, with 295 vessels. India is one of the few countries with an aircraft carrier in its fleet, the INS Vikramaditya, a modified Russian Kiev-class ship and another undergoing trials. The Indians also have 10 destroyers, 13 frigates, 22 corvettes, 128 patrol vessels and 17 submarines, including the nuclear-powered attack submarine INS Chakra, leased from Russia. Being one of the nuclear powers, India is believed to have 156 warheads and has developed systems for launching nuclear weapons from the land, sea, and air. The nuclear weapon program is developed primarily as a deterrent strategy against neighboring Pakistan, India's main adversary. At number one, the Chinese People's Liberation Army. The People's Liberation Army, or PLA, was founded in 1927 and took its present form in 1947 after the Chinese Communist Party took control of the country. For many years, it's had a massive but cumbersome and obsolete military force. However, in recent years, China has undertaken some serious efforts in modernizing its military so that it has now become the largest military force globally with the second highest budget and third strongest armed force in the world. As a result, the Chinese armed forces have expressed a clear indication that it intends on becoming a new superpower. The active personnel in the Chinese forces combined numbers 2 million servicemen. Military service is obligatory for all Chinese males from the age of 18. Teenagers are required to register with the Central Military Commission Recruitment Body, 
However, mandatory recruitment has been abandoned in China since 1949, as the armed forces have a sufficient number of volunteers to maintain the service. The Chinese armed forces consist of five branches, the ground force, the navy, the air force, the rocket force, and the strategic support force. In addition to this, the country's entire territory is divided into five theater commands that are responsible for the development of tactics and response to threats or crises. Like the rest of the country, the military is under the strict control of the Chinese Communist Party. The PLA even has its members in the national parliament. Being the backbone of the regime, the armed forces are granted a substantial military budget of $250.2 billion. Most of the budget is aimed at purchasing modern weapons and equipment to compete with the other leading military powers in the world. Apart from the procurement of weapons, the Chinese have invested a lot of effort and finances into developing new types of weapons, such as the laser device for tracking submarines at twice the depth than the most sophisticated sonars and magnetic detectors currently can. There are also programs in developing high-powered lasers, high-powered microwave weapons, particle beam weapons, and electromagnetic pulse weapons. A significant step in this direction was also the development of imagery satellites for military purposes. It should be noted that in 2019, China became only the third country to have sent a man into space using only its own technology. Over the years, the Chinese have managed to modernize their arsenal to a similar level to the most developed militaries in the world. The Chinese ground forces have in their armament 5,250 tanks, 35,000 armored vehicles, 4,120 self-propelled artillery guns, 1,734 artillery guns, and 3,160 rocket projectors. Almost the entire arsenal of weapons is the product of their domestic defense industry. This includes, among others, the ZTZ-96 and ZTZ-99 battle tanks, the ZBL-08, ZBD-04A, and the ZSL-92B infantry fighting vehicles, the PLZ-89 and PLZ-05 self-propelled tracked howitzers, and the PHL-8190 and PHL-03 multiple rocket launchers. For combat in the air, the Chinese military has a fleet of 3,285 aircraft. A significant part of this fleet comprises 1,200 fighter jets, 371 attack planes, and 912 combat helicopters. The most notable aircraft are the Chengdu J-10, the Shenyang J-11, Chinese version of the Su-27, and the Xi'an JH-7 jets. In addition to this, the non-combat fleet includes 286 transport planes, 399 trainers, 114 special mission aircraft, and three tankers. The Chinese Navy has total assets of 777 vessels, including two aircraft carriers, one helicopter carrier, 41 destroyers, 49 frigates, 70 corvettes, 79 submarines, of which eight are nuclear and conventional ballistic submarines, 152 patrol vessels, and 36 mine layers. Like the other top five largest militaries in the world, China also possesses a nuclear arsenal. The number of warheads is top secret, but it's estimated at around 350, which makes them the third most powerful nuclear force in the world. However, that number is likely to increase as China is determined to establish its place among the leading military forces in the world. These were the top five largest militaries in the world. Their active personnel make up one-third of the entire military personnel in the world. With such forces at their disposal, apart from North Korea, these are undoubtedly the powers that will shape the planet's future.